Hey, what's going on you guys? It is Cameron, or Laser Raptor if you want to go by my YouTube name, and today we're going to be on the 25th episode of my Call of Duty Ghost Weapon Guide series. I can't believe we've already done 25 of these, and that's kind of crazy, but after this there's only one shotgun, one Morrison rifle, one LMG, all that jazz left, and then all the other stuff. So let's see some info on the FP6. Now, the FP6 is a pump-action shotgun with the strongest damage output in its class with moderate damage, and I don't know why there's calls written there, we can just ignore that. <laughs> Alright, and this is actually true, I did a little looking up and tested it out myself, and yeah, it does actually have the highest damage output in its class, but there's also a negative side to that, which I'll talk about later on in the video. And the maximum capacity comes a bit small, but it's average for the shotgun class, and that is 5 rounds. These are um, shells that you reload, so it's not really like having a nice magazine where you can quickly change it out like the Bulldog or anything like that, you actually have to load each round by itself. Which does suck, but hey, it's not as bad, considering this is probably one of the fastest loading shell guns. And the cool thing about this gun is that when you actually do reload, your hand has the exact amount of shells you need to put in. It's the little easter egg type thing called Duty, put it in your Infinity Ward. Why am I saying Call of Duty? It's not really a group of people. And then, we're going to put that aside, but it is really cool. When you do reload, it has a specific amount of shells. Right there, I need one, and there's only one in the hand. Now, the rate of fire comes standard, and it's actually a bit fast at 89 rounds per minute, which is really cool. And the reload speed, since it's a shell tube loaded, it's always going to be 0.833 seconds, both loaded and unloaded. And that's per shell, so it's going to be like a 4 or 5 second reload in total. I use sleight of hand, so it's a bit faster, and that's a good thing about that. And last but not least, it costs around 7 squad points to unlock. So let's head down to the range and see if it's really worth those 7 squad points, because it is a shotgun, so you don't really want to waste your squad points. Now starting off, we have built the chart a little bit differently, and we discovered that the, the um, one-shot kill range is around 20 feet or 7 meters, and for the two-shot kill range, it occurs at around 30 feet or 10 meters, and there your shots are max, they will not go any further whatsoever unless you have an attachment. Now onto the custom class, it's really simple, this gun's really strong, and we wanted to expand upon that for this class. Starting off, we put the muzzle brake attachment, you have extra damage at range, and you know, kind of add some range and all that jazz, it works out really good. And that's on seed, there's nothing more to say about that. And foregrip reduces recoil, always nice on a shotgun, adds a little accuracy, you know, all that stuff. It's really nice, just these two attachments work really good together. I honestly don't recommend buckshots, it does not really do that well for this gun, in my opinion. You can try it if you want. And we have no secondaries or these little lists because I did never once find the need to actually use those. But we do have a tactical, and that is we have the concussion grenade. This way, if you run around a corner and see a group of guys, you're going to have to pump your gun every time you shoot them. So just throw it, they'll all be stunned, pump your shotgun, go ahead and move on. And last but not least, for the perks, we have Sleight of Hand, Agility, Steady Aim, Quick Draw, and Extra Tactical. Now, Sleight of Hand, Agility, and Quick Draw are just things to speed up your processes, they're pretty self-explanatory. Extra Tactical, so you get the extra concussion for those that are going around the corner. And Steady Aim, as usual, if you have a shotgun, it's nice to have it on. And now, onto my final opinions for the FP6. Although it may not be the best shotgun, it does definitely pack a punch. The high damage output, in combination with its fast pumping, make the gun deadly to use if you do use it rightly. Now, at first when I was using this gun, you know, I thought it was kind of like a piece of crap, but you do have to get a little familiar with it and learn how to use it more properly. You kind of just pick it up as you go. It's kind of like a shoot and run type playstyle. I can't explain it too well, but once you get the gun, you will realize it for yourself. And with the right setup, the FP6 can definitely be a giant CQB beast. If I was running around the corners and there's groups of guys, I just threw a concussion, I took them out and all that. You know, it just really works out great in those close quarter environments. You know, it is a shotgun, so it is built for that. But I do think it does perform that function, so that's the thing I like about this gun. It does live up to the role of being a shotgun. Not all the shotguns can perform that well. For some reason, I don't know why Call of Duty Ghost implemented them really weirdly. And last but not least, for the rating, I give it a 4 out of 5. Due to the low range it does have and the damage drop off, you know, you used to be able to have quite a bit of range with, you know, all these extra attachments you would put on the grip, the muzzle brake, and, you know, red dot sight, uh, slug rounds, they would all add quite a bit of range. The Call of Duty nerfed that, even though it was really fair, you know, it was three, four shots at, like, that range, but that was realistic in the sense that you had the good range. So that's pretty much it for this, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.